Welcome to part 147 of Persona 4 and in the last episode, we have came up to the Memories of Love, which is floor 5 of this 10 floor dungeon. I forgot to mention about how many floors we had. Well, you saw firsthand that I, well I did mention about the shadows in the boxes, now you see firsthand of what happens Look when you out. run into it's them. A now, um, also, there's a method that I would suggest you use. The guard method. This is pretty much old school Legend of, Dra of Dragoon tech, but that's the only way you're going to survive the Hollow Forest is if you guard and gain most of your SP, if not all of your SP back. So that way you will be able to um have SP available until that is you get to the boss of the stage, because the boss of the stage is a two-part boss. We'll get more on that in part 148, but for right now, we have business to take care of. Although I'm going to be using some of my SP to eliminate the enemies here. At least I've gained some sort of, um, at least I gained some sort of SP back. And this lightning joy will not be useful at all, cause Yosuke's not here. I mean, he's not even gonna be in the party for God's sakes. I should have put him in the party. I mean, we could have used the lightning joy, but unfortunately, that's only for this stage and this stage only. See, here's the thing: all the items we have is not even going to be there anymore. The cento petals and all that. Well, oh, you know, no, nothing we get here is coming with us. Yes, even the Reaper items that we happen to get. Should we beat the Reaper? I mean, you can on very easy and on also with unlimited retries for the battle, but at the exact same time, when it comes down to the Reaper, you're pretty much going to be in a long fight because you can't really do too much damage to him weapon base, but Persona base you can. So, we'll be checking to see if there's any more treasure chests with, uh, or any more regular treasure chests, because the treasure chests that are gold, I'm going to ignore, because that means I'm going to have to go into battle, hope for a chance time in order for me to get a, a temperance card that will turn into a chest key. And... Most of the Temperance cards I get also came with, um, Cup cards, which healed my SP and HP. Very much of a dick move. Uh... <clears throat> Reese is now starting to figure out that Marie who has been wishing for death is not really wanting death. And all of Marie's annoying slam poetry is just so, so... No, how should, how should I say this? The only time slam poetry is ever good is if somebody actually doesn't have a mean-spirited soul. That's the only time slam poetry is good. And the only people who listen to that sort of stuff is hippies and beatniks. I, and besides, slam poetry is just like made on the spot, impromptu. That's what makes it so terrible. So with that said, let's see if there's a shadow in there. Nope, just a sacred branch. So we have two ways of going back to the uh, stage with the fox. Hey, guess what? As soon as we leave, all of our SP and HP is restored. So the fox is not even necessary anyway. I forgot to mention that part too. And again, we'll have to start all over from the beginning. This is a straight shot, and I don't think it's a wise idea to use a sacred branch. Ooh, but we got a love stone, and you know what that means? More SP recovery. Now then, let's find the actual way. 
I know the way, I just need to go to the way. And if you hear any loud noises, my sister is still in her uh, room because she can't go back to her office due to the fact of there still being COVID. But enough about that. Let's equip a little. Oh wait, I already got a love stone. No, never mind. I'm gonna give the love stone to Yukiko. Yep. Now we'll take care of the memories of suffering. Ah, Jesus Christ. The most perfect name for this stage. Just the memories of suffering is just pretty much this entire dungeon in a nutshell. And with that said, more slam poetry, meaning we're almost done because we are on the theme if I'm not mistaking, Memories of Anger. And this is where another mid-boss will be. And also a cutscene! Look! There's somebody over there! Who's there? Voice. Marichan? We've been looking for you. What's with that getup? Something wrong? Stay back. That's right, Marichan. We're all here to take you back home. Come on, let's go, okay? I have no home. You don't get it. Dude, that I can't believe it. Why do you come? Why? Marie-chan, listen. We don't know what memories have come back to you or how bad they are. But nothing good's gonna happen if you lock yourself away in here. We know we're being meddlesome, but we want to help you. Meddlesome. That's one word for it. You thought I was in danger, didn't you? That I might get killed by the shadows. It'd be better that way. This is a grave. My grave. I'm going to die here. Yeah, Senpai's right. We won't let that happen to you. Shut up! You don't know anything! Emmy chan Emmy, Marie, neither of those is my name. I remember. I remember everything. My real name is Kasumi no Okami. You guys fought Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri, right? I'm the same as them. I'm your enemy, one of the ones who covered your town with fog. Marie-chan is our enemy? No way! You serious? Kunino Sagiri and Amino Sagiri were those... I remember them too! They're those guys that came out from Adachi Baby and that Namatame guy! That's what you remember? That's right. Sneaking into the human world. Sensing the will of man. My role was to inform the Sigiri what the wish of the people was. That's why I'm the only one of them that looks human. Even without my memory. My body fulfilled my role. In your words, I'm a spy. You were spying without knowing it? That's so cruel. Do you understand now? Plus, I'll tell you something good. If I don't die, then your world will disappear. So, don't come chasing me. Marie-chan! Our world will disappear. What does she mean by that? 
We know that she's one of those monsters, like the ones that came from within Adachi-san and Namatame. She may have a valid reason for shutting herself in this area. Now's not the time for deduction! She is trying to kill herself! We can't leave her like this! Yes. Either way, we cannot leave her be. Let us hurry. Alright, I'm back. And now we're gonna have to go through the entirety of the Memories of Anger through battles. Nothing but battles. These are some new enemies, oh, and while it would be nice work. for you to guard, I'd hold my Three of them. chances Don't of guarding now, against okay? them. For one reason and one reason only. The Inaberration. And also, these turrets have a nasty little thing called Mind Charge, and they'll try to unleash um, the element you're weak to, or at least your party members are weak to, for another one. Or once more, as I'm gonna say. Oh crap. And they hit Chie. Let's just go on ahead and finish this before this gets out of hand. You know the drill. And honestly, I would show off these enemies, but I really don't care about them. Well, not so you have McGee Deloan, just annihilate them. That's why I was guarding. So I can. It's weak to wind. This will be so these are stone easy. panzers. Winds are the only things that's gonna hurt them. So on that note, uh, the winds the only thing that'll make them weak. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, that looked like it hurt. And they'll just repel fire. So Yukiko can just guard. Come, Koseon. Now sometimes battle is okay because Risei can restore some of your SP. And there is a point where Risei actually does that. <laughs> but, doing these battles will not really benefit you. It'll only benefit your persona to an extent. Yeah, you'll get more items, but what's the point? So, on that note, we're probably going to be in another torrential maze. And I know, I know, I should have cut out all the battles I said I was, but here's the thing. Whoa there. Once that I get through floor, once I went this through floors beginning. 1, it's weak to fire. 4, and 7, the rest of the damn dungeon, you, you can just can breeze through without actually running into anybody fight. unless you open up a chest that has an enemy in it. Otherwise, now, okay? it's going to be really short. So, let's just guard, and that'll replenish some of my SP lost. Oh. Of course you're gonna use, uh... Oh, for fuck's sakes! Really? And I have nothing to cure. Fantastic! All my Amaretta sodas are gone too, I forgot about that. Well... Ice won't work, so try another attack. At least I could show off the enemies that we're fighting up against. That could do that, at least. And you know what? I'm burn him. I'm a burn him. I will straight up burn him. Yeah, I'm yawning accidentally, but still. I'm losing all of my SP because my turn's not over yet. Because I've hit with exhaustion, and it's killing my SP. Ah, oh, god damn it. And it dodges win. Okay, I'm pissed now. Someone finish it off! Three of them! Don't give up now, okay? Even more so. I'm going to put it into the enemies that are there. Now, Tokun, your defense is down. Um Okay, I'm just gonna go on ahead and throw a Gita low one at their heads and just be done with it. Seriously, we've got a long way to go, and primarily, the most part of this 
part is in uh, the memory's anger because you're going to run into a boss battle. Well, a mid-boss battle. Which, surprisingly enough, is not that hard. Let's see. We have multiple paths, and we've got to be careful because these paths will either lead us to battle or lead us to a dead end. Ooh, Revival Beat. I, I think I could keep that. We'll probably need that later for everyone else but me. <sighs> oh, God. Sorry. Sorry, this stage definitely bores me, and I'm, and I'm sorry if I'm yawning. That's what happens when I deal with a uh, not so interesting stage. Up oh, and my character got hit with an aberration. Just great. Well, at least I can use salvation. And that's why salvation is awesome. And you're wondering, hey RV man, why didn't you equip the Book of the Void? Uh I think I've already explained to the audience at home in part 146 that this dungeon takes away your equipment. So even if I would have equipped Book of the Void before coming in here, it wouldn't have mattered. This is without a doubt a terrible dungeon and there's not much for me to say. I'm not going to harp on it for too long. But good news is, Vish... Me. <clears throat> Ishtar almost said Vishnu there for a second. Yeah, Vishnu leveled up anyway. But Ishtar learned Salvation on top of having Spellmaster. So, that's fantastic. It's not fantastic as me going back into another battle. That's actually nerve-wracking. That one's immune to ice. Good news is... Um... Cool Breeze now, is okay? constantly working, so we're not completely out of... Uh, SP at least. And thanks to the heal, god damn it, not again. Senpai, your defense has been lowered. Right. I'm gonna have to blow them out of the water. Three of them. Don't give up now, okay? Cause if I hit get hit with uh an aberration, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh no! I can hit it with exhaustion, that's even worse. You know what? Screw it. They're all dead. Um, why am I putting Heat Riser on my Oh, I think I know why. Three enemies left. You can win this! Yukiko is going to be taking over in just a few minutes. As provided Chie doesn't destroy them. Enemy defeated! That's the spirit, Chie Senpai! Uh, heal? Yukiko Senpai? Boy, if looks Well, never kill. mind, just blast him out of the water. Uh, let's see. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Might as well use this now. <laughs> and salvation saves my life. I almost fell off my bed there for a second. And now Toe gets a defense drop. God Protect damn it. Me, hey, but that's okay. We get our SP back. Okay. I guess that works. Oh, it's quite tenacious. And these weak weapons here. What more can I say? We're only doing base damage based off our persona. And ooh, chess key. You know what the most ironic part is? It also comes with a cup, which, by the way, the four cups will partially heal myself. That's the thing, I'm either taking the partial heal or the chest key, and right now I really don't need to worry about the chest key. Especially when there's a good chance enemies will pop up and it'll probably dock my health, my SP in half after every battle. Now, see if this was every... no. You see if this docked my health every battle? I'd be pissed, but then again, that would be something Shin Megami Tensei would do. Uh-oh, that one's immune to darkness. But in all honesty, folks, I think we've had enough fun for one day. Let's just scour the area, get through all the well, encounter areas, and just cool. get back on track. 
Couldn't quite beat it. Resist physicals. Okay. Whatever. Okay, Boomer. And yeah, it'll repel fire, so I'm just gonna guard. Or use Moodoo. Which actually works! Okay! <laughs> um. That would work, I suppose. And now to just finish it off. It's lived long enough. And that shall take care of the Stone Panzer. And I didn't get much from it. So, let's see what's in this box here. A Love Stone. Let's go on ahead and give this to Chie, since she needs one more than anybody else. Oh, Naoto has a Sorrow Stone, so if I find another Sorrow Stone, I'm going to give it to her. I mean, Love Stone, sorry, I'm going to give it to her. Alright. There's no battle there, okay. Um... We went around in circles, and I think this upper level will be a battle. Wait, no, it's not a battle. No, this is a battle. No, um, this is a battle. Okay. That's a treasure chest, and I don't have a key. Ugh, we gotta go to the lower levels, don't we? It's a good thing I'm exploring all of this, because that way people will understand what kind of path we're taking and all that stuff. And I know what you're thinking, you're doing this wrong, there is a path that you need to take that'll make you avoid all the battles. Um, no. No such path exists. I'll tell you why. Because, see that thing right there, I just well, went there. <gasps> I didn't even do an analysis properly. We're just killing whatever that stands in our way. <clears throat> that toy only showed up because I went there and broke the seal. Because I'm heading in the right direction, I'm going to run into encounters. Let's see. Ooh, god damn it. I don't want to keep you on it. I don't want to keep you on it. It's just this dungeon is doing a lot to me. Ah, oh, we got this again, don't we? You know what? I'm not dawdling around. Blow him off at the face of the planet. With no remorse. And that takes care of them. I know this is the worst way for you to conserve, but that type of... Uh, matching can be very annoying. Oh, and in case you've noticed, I've got Metatron. Sweet! Oh, right. Golden chest, can't use it. Um, let's see... Is there any other way we need to go? Probably so, because there is an undiscovered area right here. Um, let's see. I think we're going to be getting close to the end of this stage. Just oh, the end of this uh, area. I'm just taking alternate routes you could take. So that way you'll get to the ending closer and quicker. God damn it. Well, like I said, at least we've got um, healing done by Cool Breeze. Otherwise... Naoto would have been out of SP. And there's no drain techniques for the heroes, just the villains. That's fake difficulty also. So on that note, we're gonna change uh, a Arcana in, I mean, an Arcana into another Arcana, and I'm just gonna grab Seth because, well, Seth is needed for one of the fusions. Specifically, Lucifer. 
Or was it Bale? It, it probably would be Bale. But Lucifer is most definitely known for what Seth Fuse is into. Now then. Let's try to go the other way. Because we've already... Oh, we haven't opened that way up yet. Let's see. Is this the true way? Oh, god damn it, this is the true way. We're at it to an uh, Oh wait, this is the guy we need to find! Uh -oh, that one's Fantastic! Really Sorry if I'm talking a little too loud, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, that is the power tower, I think. Keep it up. <laughs> you gotta be careful, because Mustard Bomb is a really deadly attack. Yukiko-senpai's acting weird! How deadly is it? Yukiko tries to use an aberration and forgot what she was doing in the middle of it. What was I... What no, you're not an aberration, it's salvation. Yeah. Sorry. Meaning I'm gonna have to use salvation to save everybody. Alright, um... I'm just going to... Uh, check this out. Oh, Heaven's Giant. Ooh... Um, yeah. This is the part where you have to use a breaker in order for you to do some damage to it. I prefer to use the wind breaker, because that's going to basically reduce the amount of damage that he's pretty much negated. Okay, let me, put it, let me put it like this. It'll probably reduce his already high HP to a low standard. 150, yeah, that didn't really do too much. But I do know this. Yukiko getting hit with an aberration is not cool. And nor Spirit Drain. Spirit Drain sucks. I won't lose. Alright, we gotta get Yukiko back on her feet. But for right now. Uh, we need to also heal her from her affliction. And that's all we need to do. Because we can't have her forgetting how to do spells. Especially when we're giving a really golden opportunity to do some more damage to him. I couldn't defeat it! It must be over 300, I mean 3,000, because otherwise that would not have actually uh, hurt it. Alright. At least the fire resistance is nullified. So, um Yeah, you just you just go and you throw use a fire attack at me and I'll just absorb it. No big deal. Jesus. At least we got some SP out of this deal. One burning petals and we are finished! Well, at least I hope the giant is, but unfortunately, he's not done yet. So, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. We're pretty much gonna have to, uh... Not him. Um, which one? Ah, yes, we're gonna get Mara. We're gonna get the dick demon and light his ass on fire. That right there is going to take care of the mid-boss. Over 4,000 HP, not that bad. I mean, it's not a very long boss, but the rest of the stage is just longer than the mid-boss itself. If you could believe that. And with that Anger Stone and Love Stone, the Anger Stone ends up becoming his impromptu, um... Well, my impromptu healing for, um, SP, because it's going to be healing, like, 35 SP per, um, battle, as opposed to healing only 20. What was it, 35? I think it was 35%. Anyway. We pretty much are good with the Persona. I just want to try to get through the memories of anger, and there's the door! 
Do I really need to go for the treasure chest? No, pass me. Don't go for the treasure chest. Your greed will kill you. Your greed will kill you. Or trap you in a dead end. It don't matter. We're going to open the door. And open the door again. And run into enemies again. Man, oh man. Can't we ever catch a break? No? Okay. McGee DeLowen. So, on that note... We'll just continue on. All right. I think we could go left or right. But it's always something that dungeons like this that have multiple pathways, all the good stuff is in the middle of the dungeon or the heart of the dungeon, while everything bad isn't. Anyway, um. We need to go on ahead and eliminate these guys, and we already know how this is going to play out. I use Almighty, these enemies die, the end. Alright. The end is the opposite direction, but we just need to open the chest. Or not, it's probably a locked box, so uh, we're going to leave. We're going to leave. Because we also got two more floors left, and all we practically have to do is just run from everything. Alright, so let's see what's in here. Um. Well, let's see. There's nothing there. We passed up all the enemies. And we've beaten everything that is here to beat. Now we can go on ahead and just leave to the next floor. All right, floor eight, which is going to be the memories of invitation, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it memories of love? Uh, she went from slam poetry to desperately pleading that we're not allowed to chase after her. Meaning, I'm going to have to chase after her, because I want to kick her ass. Oh, this is the uh, meeting of no memories of loneliness. That's what this is. So we got a lightning breaker, like we actually need one. And we also have the... Um, something else, I'm trying to think. I know we have another QA, but I kind of forget to put that on any of my characters. Oh no, another shadow jumped out of the box. Of course it is, because we're close to unlocking the Reaper. Look out, and on that note... Attacks. The fact that we have Three to deal with Don't these enemies now, here... Okay. Oh, right! That machine that we, we didn't even fight. Because I probably passed it up. Oh, come on! Someone help, Senpai! <sighs> Let's just go on ahead and grab another persona and use salvation if I don't forget. Alright, at least we healed ourselves. We still have enough turns left between all of us. We'll probably do damage to some of them. But until those uh, Persona are eliminated, yeah, this is only this. weak to, darkness. well, nothing. <laughs> but, like so I said, as soon as those enemies like are eliminated, we are going to go to Floor 9. Because this floor is actually pretty damn short. And with that said, they're all dead. That's what comes of underestimating. And... There's a Cento fruit. Nice. <coughs> and it starts at level 79. That's fantastic. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be right back. <sighs> I had to take my inhaler. Sorry about that. Well, I just got myself a firebreaker, and all those breakers are going to come in handy. That's the only reason why I'm trying to show up where all these treasures are. 
because there's a good chance there's going to be breakers, and again, there's going to be different stuff. You're going to need these breakers, because depending on the people who play this game, they more than likely went there and got rid of the fire breaks in their persona because they felt they didn't need it. Oh, look, there's that, um... There's the treasure chest that I needed a key for, and I'm going to have to keep going. And we're not at the area where we need to go to just yet. And we're almost at the end of the part, and we're going to be passing that chest up, because what's the point of us going there? And we're going to be going to the ninth floor in just a little bit. Let's see. Oh, there's nothing but gold chest here. What kind of bullcrap is this? All right, now we're gonna go to the floor of invitation. This is also a floor where you don't need to run into anything. And the treasure chest will still try to attack you. However, here's the thing. If you probably haven't noticed all the floors, the floors have pain, suffering, grief, loneliness, um, sorrow, all sorts of things, but all the floors is pretty much showing Marie's feelings towards having to be forced to kill herself in order to make sure the town that she loves is safe from the fog. Well, Windbreaker, let's just get out of here. We're gonna need that too. But that's the thing, she wants to stay in Enaba, but she can't, because the only way for her to stay in Enaba, oh, and there's a lightning breaker too, oh god, that was not on the court, my bad, and the only way for her to stay in Enaba is for, well, the only way for Enaba to even exist is for her not to exist, and she's trying to slowly but surely accept suicide, even though we just went through a whole entire social link trying to get her goddamn memories back. And it's after we beat Amino Saiguri is that this woman decides to commit suicide. <sighs> and just think, if we would have just turned back and left this be, we probably would not have gone any further. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're almost at the end of this um, stage. We're almost at the end of this dungeon. All you have to do is just avoid any battles. We don't need to go any further and ruin any more of our SP or lack thereof. Hope that's not a gold chest there. And it's not. Good. Let's grab it. Son of a bitch! I almost went with no encounters. None! Oh, I gotta show these guys off. Oh, horseshit. Well, might as well blast them off with a goddamn atmosphere. And booyah! Someone finish this one. Oh, three of them. They have resisted to Almighty. Way to go! Just don't use light on it. Clear sky, Musha. Um, repels light, so no light for you. Good. I'm not worried about that. By the way, I forgot to mention the level that you need to be. Well, practically level 80 or higher. Because these enemies will actually be tougher if you come in here with less, uh, less, um, level. Oh, and that enemy was weak to physicals. Okay. Just go for it. Go for it and kick his ass. So I wonder what was in this box, because this match is all but done. Oh, and all those monsters had really low HP anyway, so it just had high defense. And, uh, no key! Okay, um... You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go for a sweep. I don't have anything else better to do. And I'm not getting any money anyway! And on that note, we just increase Isis's luck and magic, and I gain no money. So what? I don't gain any anyway. 
That's part of the damn stage. So if you see the sun, I think that would be the good time to use it. I forgot that we didn't earn any money throughout the entirety of this stage. But we got a lightning breaker out of all that. Joy. So, Sentai Fruit. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. Keep that. There's a reason for it. We're gonna give Sentai seeds to uh, Sentai seeds to everybody. And that'll be it. We're gonna go on ahead and go straight to the memories of meeting, and that's where we're gonna face off with Marie. However, Marie is going to be the next part. Oh god, my suffering with this place is gonna come to an end. I wasn't as bad or as negative as Gira Vagan, at least. Yeah, I've matured after a while. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is Arvin Man 985. I'll see you in part 148. We are going to end the Hollow Forest. Thank the Lord. I want my items back.